Yeah, so Kobe Bryant, um, what a, what a, I mean, I knew Kobe 8, not Kobe 24. You know, Kobe 8 was young and brash and trying to establish himself in the NBA. So he was, he was a handful. He was competitive. You know, he wanted to play one-on-one -on -one all the time. He wanted to always show how good he was or always work on something. Um, so he was unbelievably athletic at the time. Super, I mean, he was 22, 23 when I played with him. So it's sad to think about the tragedy. Obviously, we... We mourn for the loss of him not being here and for his family and all the other people involved as well. But being a Christian and knowing Christ, to me, is the only way to have hope of seeing him again. There's the hope. And that the hope aspect in Christianity is one that is unique from all other faiths. And Jesus Christ is the only hope that I have in seeing my father again and seeing my my grandparents again and seeing my good friends again that I've lost and seeing Kobe Bryant again, you know, that's the only hope that there is. So the flip side of that is what's the hope if you don't believe in God? There is, there is no hope. So Kobe Bryant has lived a great life. He's passed away tragically. Now what? You know, and if you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in Christ, in my opinion, but if you don't believe even in, that God exists, what, what is there to think about? There's no hope. But I just saw Kobe, um, you know, he, he, he passed away tragically in the, in the, in the helicopter incident. Um, and I had seen him two months ago. And he wasn't Kobe Bryant, you know, Mamba. He was, he was Kobe Bryant, the dad. And he was a different person. He was soft. Um, he yelled at me when I saw him and, and he hugged me. He about broke my neck when he hugged me. I mean, he gave me this big, tight hug. Never hugged me like that before. He had never shared that kind of affection before. Um, you know, he was always tough and brash and, you know, kind of the mamba side of him. And now he was a father. And, he, you know, he shared stories about his daughter. I shared stories about my kids, who I'm so proud of. And, um, and so we shared that moment as fathers and former teammates. And he was different. You know, he was definitely a different person. And so it was fun to to see him in that light, and I wish I had gotten to know that guy more. I want to look forward to seeing Kobe Bryant again someday. I, I pray that that's part of what his character in life became, that he did come to know Christ. My hope is in Christ, that maybe I'll see him again. I'm Mike Penberthy, and I play for him.